I wanted to make a very quick video to show you how to do some basic data analysis. And in this video, we're just going to talk about performing a basic test, acquiring the data, and then analyzing the data to see the results of this test so that we can determine the effect that this test had. And the example I want to use today is a Pinewood Derby race. So let's say that we had the opportunity to run our, our Pinewood Derby vehicle on a track that had four different tracks, a red track, a yellow track, a green track, and a blue track. And we're going to run it four times without graphite on the axles and wheels. And then we're going to run it four more times with graphite. So the test is basically determine whether the graphite makes a difference in the speed of the vehicle. And if it does, to find out whether we want to use graphite or don't want to use graphite in the future. And then when we analyze the data, we also want to be able to communicate the data to maybe persuade other people to use graphite or not to use graphite. So I'm going to just click wrap text on those. Let's enter some imaginary speeds here. These are in uh, miles per hour to scale. Of course, Pinewood Derby cars don't actually go this fast. Okay, so there are our speeds. We ran four races without graphite, and then we added graphite to the vehicle and ran four more races, and these are the speeds that we received. Now, without doing anything else, we might be able to look at this and just say, hey, it, it went a little bit faster with graphite here, and uh, it did here, and it did here, and it did here. So, hey, the graphite is better. It seems to be better. And that's true, but I want to show you how to make this just a little bit better and be able to show you how you can communicate this information with other people and present it. So once we have this data, it's really easy just to highlight the data. You click insert and create some sort of a chart. In this case, we created a chart that shows the different race speeds, the blue line being without graphite, the orange line being with graphite, and we can see that it does seem to go faster with graphite. The speeds are higher in each race. However, we can also look down here at the different tracks. And we might notice that it's slower on the green track in both cases and faster on the yellow track. That's something interesting that we got out of the data that we might not have noticed right off the bat. Let's change the chart title. We can also change the chart format. If you look up above here, there are all kinds of different formats that we can try. Maybe one other thing we could do is we could find the average speeds, the average speeds of each set of races. So you put a formula in here, we hit the equal sign and begin typing average until we find the average function here. Double click on that, and then we would just highlight the cells that we want to average and hit enter. So there's our average speed. And I can just copy that over to the following cell so that it does the same thing with that column. If I wanted to graph the average speeds, I would highlight the titles of those columns, hold the control button down while I highlight the averages, and I'll go back up here to insert, and I'm going to maybe look at a bar graph this time. Change this chart title as well. We can also pick the format. If we want it to match the other one, we could do this. Now we have something that we can use to communicate our data, and we can actually analyze the data a little bit better with these charts and graphs. It makes it easier if we want to go convince someone that they should use graphite to present them with these pictures. We might also just do a couple of other things to make this presentation a little bit more appealing. Maybe we want to put a picture of the car on here. We want to make sure that this will all fit onto one page, and the easy way to do that is to go to File and Print Preview. And we can see right now that it's not going to fit on one page. So we can move this other chart down below so that it fits, or we can turn this into a landscape format. For our sake, let's just move this down below. Try to line it up so that it looks good. We will probably want to put a title up here. So you can see this, this 
darker dashed line right here, that represents where the edge of the page will be. There's one down here that shows the bottom of the page so that we can see that we're all on one page. So I'm going to merge and center this to put some kind of a title in here. I also think that we should have some type of a description of our test that we're doing. So maybe we could also merge and center this and click wrap text so that it all fits in that cell. And maybe I'd want to have a description of this test. I would describe what we're doing in this test, how we're testing with and without graphite. I may want to label that. Bold the average, bold the headings. Some lines. I think that I'll bold this, maybe center it within the cell and increase the font size of the title there. But now we have a pretty decent looking presentation that was made very quickly in just a few minutes. Let's take a look at it and see how it looks. Maybe I want to center it better on the screen or, or move some things around, but well, it's not really professional yet, we'd like to do a little more tweaking here. It looks pretty good for something that we put together very quickly. I would encourage you to spend a few more minutes making it look good. But you have basically taken your data and analyzed it and made a pretty strong case for using graphite on a Pinewood Derby car. And that's something that you could apply to any type of data that you need to present or analyze.